Why do y'all play girls? Ooh. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. Okay, why did you play girls? What's up, y'all? It's Tink and Jimmy. We back with another banger. In today's video, we're going to be doing a girl asking guys questions girls are too scared to ask. Before we get into that, I want to go ahead and give a post notification shout out to my boy Curly Head TJ. He been DMing me and stuff, telling me how he love our videos and he team Jimmy, you know. He been telling me all that, but yeah, he been saying he love our videos. I don't think we should get him a post notification shout out no more. He told me how he got our post notifications on and he always watching our videos and we need to post more. So I want to go ahead and start giving post notification shout outs. And all you got to do to enter and get into that is click the subscribe button, hit that like button, and, and comment then comment on down our below. Videos. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. The first question is, why is it okay for a guy to cheat but bad when a girl does? Why is it okay for a guy to cheat but bad when a girl does? Yeah. Because when y'all do it, it's just... Okay, so this is my personal thought on this. So I think when a guy cheats, well, us guys, when we cheat, we do it you for cheat? one reason. No, I don't cheat. Oh. That's 2019, you don't do that no more. I already said that. But yeah, when a guy cheats, like the motive for a guy is one thing, and that's to have sex, that's it. For, for girls, when you guys do it, it's like you guys go to do the most. You text to him, y'all on FaceTime. Like, we don't do all that. Y'all texting y'all on FaceTime, y'all going out to eat, y'all all this stuff. Like, and then, you, and then on top of that, you having sex with him too. So, like, that's a whole another relationship right there. So, like, when a guy do it, like, we're only there for one thing and there's no feelings in it. You'll think of, when a girl do it, you'll think they got, you think they really, that's they man, that's they man crush Monday. So yeah, that's why guys, that's the difference between a guy cheating and a girl cheating. That's why it's worse when y'all do it. Okay. How do you know when you're into a girl? Me or boys or guys? Just y'all in general. Well, you. I think a guy, I'm gonna say guys. I think a guy know when knows when they're into a girl. When, for like example, for example, when you first start talking to a girl and you really want to be with them, Y'all, you trying to text all day, you on FaceTime, you trying to pull up on them. I know most of the time guys be trying to pull up on girls and y'all be thinking that in another way. But like, if a guy trying to see you and he trying to bring you food and he trying to do this and he trying to buy you little stuff, even if it's something Somebody small. Somebody ever tried to buy me food before. Don't lie on me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if a guy yeah. is doing all that and he trying to go out his way to see you and link with you, and he trying to get on night and he trying to get on FaceTime with you and fall asleep on the phone with you and he not going on pause and all that stuff and he just looking at you and he not leaving the screen and all that stuff trying to take you out see you like that's how you know when a guy really feeling you so well, I think we should break up and, yeah. and give it Bro, a you're so liar, we can do right? stuff like <laughs> okay okay the third question is which is more important personality or looks now before I used to think it was looks. I changed a lot over this year, like this past year. Like before I thought it was all looks. If she could dress, then I want her. If she could look dressed, if she could look, if she got the looks, she could dress, if she- Sound like you lying, you over here No, no, I just gotta get my thoughts together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like last, like last year before I went through these little big changes around the end of the year, it was always looks to me. Oh, if she got a body, if she could dress, if she, got shoes, if her hair always done, she keep her nails, tattoos, all that. Like I was all into that, but around the end of the year, I started realizing all that stuff don't even matter. It's really who, and it's really the soul of that person, if that makes sense, like how they act, what they do, because anybody could go dress up and get expensive clothes and all that stuff, even if it's fake, like anybody could go get that stuff. But when you really just, when you really could show that you could have a good ass conversation and stuff like that, then that's what really make a person. So I would say personality. That's me. Nah, that's the new me. I'm right. telling you, me. Why do y'all play girls? Ooh. I don't do that. Okay, why did you play girls? But for why do y'all play girls? Like. What you mean by that? Like, okay. Does that kind of sound like the other question. What other question? The cheating? Yeah. That's no, it's. Cheating. No, it's not. Okay, what you mean? Okay, because you talked to this girl. 
but you leave her on. You talk to this girl and you leave her on too, but then you talk to this girl. So like play? That was the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So I think guys play girls because at the beginning, like I said, with that last question where I was like, they'll do all this stuff, try to come see you and stuff. Some dudes, they'll do that, but then they'll change up because they'll find another girl that they can do the same thing with. And because they're not in a dedicated relationship they think it's okay so i feel like it's between a lot of guys thinking it's not really nothing wrong with that because you know some people believe if y'all talking then you're still allowed to, to go mess with other people so i feel like that's where that come in place so yeah okay. then that's a little short answer a little short answer okay how are we supposed to know when y'all aren't into us anymore? i think you know when a guy's not into you when he start asking for space a lot or like, for example, let's see. Mm, I gotta really think about that. That's a good one. Space. Mm -hmm. You need space. That's a good. That's a good question. I can't think. Of. <laughs> I got an answer, but I can't see how to put it together. <laughs> Tell me a question again. <laughs> How are we supposed to know when y'all aren't into us anymore? Okay, let me try to do it slowly. I think you know when a guy's not into you anymore, when he starts kind of like drifting off, like it ain't no problem to like go hang out with your friends or whatever, but if you're in a relationship, you ain't really listening. Yeah. <laughs> if you're in a relationship and Y'all supposed to be boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever y'all doing. You supposed to, you're not supposed to, but if you really like that person, you're going to be around them a lot. Like, you're going to want to spend time with them. You're going to go lay down with them. You're going to go watch TV with them. You're going to go do something with them. You're not just always going to be around your homies or on the game or something like that. Like, I used to do that a lot. Not that I wasn't into you. Oh, so you wasn't into you. Shut up. Let me talk. Not that I wasn't oh, into you, like, oh, but... I always used to be on the game, but that that wasn't because I wasn't into you. That was more of me just being a child and always wanting to play on the game in the child's mind. Or is it you went in space? Mm -hmm. you went space? Bruh, stop interrupting me, dude. I said it's because <laughs> I was in a child's mind state with that. I always wanted to be on the game. Now I'm more into I go watch TV with my girl. Yeah, she want to watch Netflix and stuff, but I'd rather watch YouTube. But like little stuff like that. Like I'm always trying to go watch TV or I don't be on the game like that. I'll sell the game if anything, I don't need it. So yeah, I really just think it's down to if he always around you. When you see him start drifting off a little bit, always wanting to go out somewhere and do this, do that. That's how you know when he really not feeling you no more. Or when you see him starting to be on his phone a lot and he he look like he hot and stuff. Y'all know how y'all are. Y'all get, get suspicious. It be that feeling. So yeah, I think that's all you know. I don't okay. even know how to put that one. That's tough. Why do y'all like other naked girls' pictures but don't like y'all girls posting pictures? <laughs> First of all, my girl ain't gonna be posting no pictures like that. Now, I'm not overprotective to the point where I don't actually, I, you can ask her. I don't care what she wear. I'm not like that. You can go out like, you go out all you want and wear what you want. I'm not gonna trip about it. I'm not gonna, I might say a little joke or something slick. Uh, like, well, why you got that on? But yeah. <laughs> That's fine, like, I don't be sweating none of that, but I don't like no girls picture who they get. Boy, so, you, okay, yes. It's not naked, but it's more like half naked or her titties out and her booty out. And I don't like that type of picture. Yeah. You used to. Yeah, what's the word? Okay, but when, hold on, when, see, I, we, when I used to do you, that. Okay, but why you when answer? When I used to do that, finish what, that. Jimmy, 20, answer the question. 20 what? 2020, can you answer the question, please? Why did I? Come on. Tell me the question again so I can answer it. Why do y'all like other naked girls' pictures but don't like your girls' posting pictures? I think a lot of guys like girls. I'm just going to wing this question. I ain't going to lie. I think a lot of guys like naked girls' pictures or half dressed or just exposing their body because, to be honest, boys are attracted to that type of stuff. That's just the basic answer to that. Like, 
boys like seeing girls with their body out and stuff. Yeah, so it why don't can't necessarily. Your girlfriend do oh, it? No, it don't necessarily. We didn't say y'all can do it. Okay, but it, it, it do be a problem. When? Boys be making it a problem. If your girlfriend posts a picture, yeah, just like because the same they be feeling. All right, so they be all right. So that's a two way thing. So yeah, they be liking other girls' pictures like that, but they also be feeling some type of way when dudes like a day girl picture that's doing the same thing yeah they gonna post their little comment or whatever because they know you're gonna answer they're gonna get a specific answer from you because that's because you that girl but they still gonna feel some type of way about it because other dudes is also liking the picture and commenting as long but i feel like if they like if you posted like say for example you was posting a picture like that and dudes was liking and i went in there and i liked it and i commented my little whatever and you answered back right if you're not liking no other dudes comments and you're not commenting to no other dude then i don't care <laughs> Does it matter if your girl can cook or not? Like, do y'all care about stuff like that? I don't think it matters. Because, honestly, for example, between me and Tink, we eat out a lot. Like, all the time. But if we not eating out, like, she can go in there and she can make a little mashed potatoes or some like some like some corn or something like she could go make some chicken anything like she can make a little small stuff so i think it's more little than small a, stuff yeah, little something, little something, so chicken something just like. small stuff. okay but yeah like she can go in the kitchen and make something if she had to and i can't really judge because i can't cook at all i can make <laughs> some breakfast stuff some pancakes some eggs and I'm still waiting exactly i'll be and we wake up too late <laughs> but i can make some breakfast stuff but that's all i cook i don't know how to make rice I don't know how to make none of that stuff. So, <laughs> the only thing I know how to use is the microwave, click the buttons, and I know how to use that oven because that got buttons on there too. So if we can go in the oven and the microwave, I can cook it, baby. No cap. What are some turn offs that girls do? I think it's a turn off when a girl is pretty, but like they just loud or like they do the mm. most like try to be seen like you know them type of girls that just be like like they be real cute but they be all sassy or they be like disrespectful like for example like you'll say something to them and they ignore it like they won't answer you or like you'll go like you'll i don't know how to explain like you'll go sit down beside them they'll act like like i don't know like you just tell like body posture when somebody feeling some type of way, like feeling themselves so that's my answer on that that's the only turn off I mean, that's one of the turn offs. I don't be paying attention. I got my whole oh, package right oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. I don't be looking. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, well, this, you answered the next question. It was perfect. Do you prefer a loud girl or a quiet girl? Or one that's like in the middle, like. I prefer a quiet girl. I prefer a homebody. I don't party. I don't drink. I don't smoke. So I prefer yeah. to be in the house. With my girl watching TV, Netflix, and here laughing, watching videos, <laughs> posting TikToks, making YouTube videos. That's what I prefer to do. I don't care about none of that little loud stuff going out to party. I'll go out to party. I'm not saying I won't. Like, she was like, oh, let's go to a party. I'll go with her. But I'm not going to just, you know. What's the high body count? And why does body count matter? Well, why does body count matter? So, what's the question? High body count? It's... What's a high? It's two questions per day. What's a high body count, and why do they matter? I think a high body count on a girl is six. Oh, I was gonna say five. I was gonna say five or six, but I'm gonna say six or seven because in high school, no, I'm not even gonna say high school. Because in high school, girls are protected by their parents. <laughs> I'm going to use this example. So in high school, girls are protected by their parents. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're going to have a boyfriend here and there. They might do it in the car. They might do it here. They might do it at the house when their parents ain't home. Something. It's going to be those type of girls that's going to be able to, you know, sneak it or whatever. But for the most part, part, most girls are in the house all through high school. Unless they're going out to a little party to the movies. And back, you know, everybody goes to the movies on a weekend and stuff. So... But I feel like once you hit college, girls got their own dorm. But watch out. <laughs> girls got their own dorm and stuff. So now they're able to leave and come and go whenever they want to. And that's when girls really start wilding out, getting drunk, smoking and stuff. So like, I feel like six or seven 
isn't bad because if you just came to, if you left high school with two and you just happened to catch another four, that ain't that bad because you just was having fun in college. Oh, no. Your first year, if everybody had fun their first semester. So wait, so. first semester don't count? Yeah, first semester don't count. Six and seven. That's my final answer. Okay, now why? Because I just told you, I just gave a whole story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You didn't be listening to me, but I just get a whole Why story. Did, okay, so tell me. I'll cut the part off. Why does it matter? Bro, what are you talking about? Oh, the body counts matter. Oh, I had to answer that part too. That was the question! That was, it matters because don't know do want no girl that got 10 bodies. Niggas have that many bodies. So why why do boy like why are boys because able to boys, have more than girls? Because it's a boy. Girls are supposed to be all innocent and stuff. Girls don't do that. Girls don't go opening their legs everywhere. That's just not how it goes. So boys just open their legs everywhere and it's just okay. Yeah, boys do that. That's what boys do. Boys have a high sex drive. Girls aren't supposed to be like that. So it's okay for y'all to go in woobity woobity woo with. Enough, like what a lot of girls. I'm not saying work. it's okay, but I'm saying that's what girls. I mean, that's what boys do. Like boys, that's what boys do. That. Like if you go, if you go hang out with one of your niggas or something, that's what y'all talking about. Girl, they like, showing you pictures and stuff like that's. They like, oh, I'm about to hit that. Oh, I'm about to go hit link up. Like that's what girls. That's what boys. That just said. Bro, y'all do the same thing. Y'all don't be talking about. I don't know what the. Hell <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get don't be it. Talking like about, why? Y'all finna go. I'm finna go. Put this. <laughs> <laughs> Like y'all talk, I hope that y'all talk like that. But like I know y'all be talking about, oh he's so fine, he this that. Like, but yeah, that's how boys talk. When boys be like, oh, I'm finna, that's how boys are. I'm finna do this to her. I'm finna, I'm finna dog you. Like something, but that's how that's how dudes talk, bro. I hope y'all don't talk like that. That's all the questions I got, baby boy. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So that's the end of this video. We hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the post notification button so you so can you earn can that get... post hey, notification. That's my Shout part. out like my boy Curly Head TJ because he teen Jimmy. And you know how we rocking, y'all. Hit her in the face. Now she liking, locking, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Riding up on her. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed no. this video. We're going to see y'all later. Peace.